What's up everybody, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm glad you guys are able to catch this video right here. For those of you all who don't know me, my name is Joe Green. I am an online entrepreneur and a business coach. I help people start online businesses and become very profitable. But in this video right here, I wanna share with you how you can launch your own online business, whether it's brand new or something that died and you need to revive it. I wanna show you exactly how you can start earning up to 10K a month with my proven strategies. So I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. And let me apologize, the audio is not the greatest, but you know what, it is what it is. The details is what you're really here for. So let's go ahead and get it started. Okay, you guys, here we go. We're going to jump right into the training. Um, and this workshop right here, not a presentation, but a workshop because I expect you to take notes and actually follow along with me and just really start stimulating some ideas because we're going to talk about how you can make 10K a month on social media for 2022. Okay, this may not be relevant in 2023. So if you're watching the video now, I need you to take action now, okay? Because I want this video to age well. I want it to do good. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Let's talk about who I am. My name is Joe Green, and I'm an online entrepreneur. I'm also a business coach. I help people launch their businesses. Um, I got started, you know, uh, working online when COVID hit. So before that, I owned a brick and mortar business. We did very well, actually. But when COVID hit, we weren't COVID proof. And we had to quickly pivot and go online um, because my business was shut down for nearly a year. You know, I live in the state of California. So as soon as they started lifting restrictions for COVID, um, they shut us right back down right away. And it was nearly financially devastating for me, at least. Um, the good thing is I was already thinking about going online. But the problem with me was I kept on talking myself out of it. I kept telling myself I don't have time. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to start. I didn't want to hire another business coach at the time because I had one I was actively working with, but he was completely anti-online. So COVID just basically shifted everything. Matter of fact, it's funny, uh, just a quick story about that coach. I remember we were at a conference and I, I approached him and I told him, you know, how like I really wanted to, you know, go online. And if you ever consider having like online, you know, uh, programs and teaching us how to do that, he basically brushed me off and said, no, you need to focus on your business and stop thinking about the online game. It's just way too big and way too hard. Well, lo and behold, almost everybody had to go online in 2020. So moving forward for the last couple of years, uh, my wife and I, we've done really well online. And this is what we coach people to do now. We teach people how to go online and actually make good money. Now, why did I cap this at 10K versus saying, oh, 20K, 30K, 50K? Well, here's the deal. It's called scaling your business. And you have to be able to start somewhere. And I don't want you skipping steps and start trying to scale your business before you've actually cracked the ceiling and started making your first five to $10,000 a month regularly. Now, after you start making that amount of money, then you can start actually generating more income. So let's go ahead and move forward right here. Um, <clears throat> like I was just telling you guys earlier, um, I got started online because of COVID, um, but more to the story, um, I left a 15 year career working in the military. I was supposed to retire in five years and I just wasn't satisfied. I couldn't see myself going another four to five years working a job that I wasn't in love with. I wasn't passionate about anymore. And something had to change. And then when I opened up a business, it got busy, we were successful, you know, but still something was missing. I felt like I was grinding harder than when I had a career. Now I understand that comes to the territory of launching a business, but I was just working extremely hard and having a military background, I can take on a lot, but this was taking a toll on my family because I was constantly gone, constantly working on the gym uh, that I owned and it was a brick and mortar business. It was just a lot of work, you know? So I've always had that um, romance with opening up a business. So <laughs> anyways, um, 2020 hit, we uh, had to go online. We ended up doing very well. Um, I tried and failed at plenty of things, but all in all, it was a surprising year. Um, I was like 40K in debt, business debt, you know, just because we happened to move our gym from one location to another. We had to do construction and we had to do like, you know, refurbish equipment. There was a lot of money. Being that I work online, my expenses are so minimal. I don't have to pay any rent to a brick and mortar business. Um, there's no equipment other than my laptop and my phone that I really need, you know, and I, I was really able to minimize my monthly expenses. And that's not to say that I don't have any, 
I do have a few. I have certain softwares that help me do my job better, but without that software, I would make less money. So it makes sense. Everything in my business has to be an asset. So between 2020 up until this point, I'm making this video as of April of 2022, um, we've made a little over $300,000 online. Every year we just end up making more money. We're um, on pace to be over $500,000 for the year of 2022. Um, and I say that because we've learned how online businesses work and operate. And that's what I wanna share with you in this workshop right here. So. Here's a couple things that I didn't do when I went online. And a lot of it, again, giving credit to COVID because I had no choice in the matter. Um, I didn't believe I was too broke. And yes, I was $40,000 in business debt. I had a lot of money I had to pay back and people were dropping their memberships and I was losing money fast. Like that bleeding was happening fast. But I also believe that, you know, if you have a great idea and you have the right, you know, incentives to, to go forward, which is taking care of my family, there was nothing that was going to stop me from being successful. Um, I, I didn't have that false belief that I couldn't do it. I didn't believe that I didn't, there was enough time because you'll never get more time. There's never going to be that perfect time that we like to pretend that's going to happen like next week, next month. You know, now is the better time than any time in the world. If you know you want to do it, do it now. Pull the trigger and say, I'm going to make this happen. Um, and I never doubted myself. I believe in myself. And that's the one thing that I think a lot of people were missing. Um, they see other people doing it. They think that they're lucky. They think that they're just blessed. They think that, you know, oh, they got these advantages I don't have. That couldn't be the furthest thing from the truth. I mean, I'm as average as I get. The difference between me and you is if I say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. All right. And the reasons why I say things like that to myself is because I have children I got to take care of. I got a wife. I got to make sure she's happy. I got a household I got to take care of. So my back is against the corner. Failure is not an option. You know, I might make mistakes, I may fall on my face, but I'm gonna keep getting back up. The only time I can actually label something a failure is when I quit. And there's just no quitting me. I'm sorry, it's just not gonna happen. So let me ask you a quick question. Now, this is where the workshop part comes in play. I want you to write this down. Yes or no, do you think today, right now, after this video, you can make $10? And if you answer that in your head, that's fine, but writing things down is powerful, you guys. Write this down. Yes or no? Do you believe if you just, no direction, no instructions, do you think you can pull in $10 right now? And if you think that you can, let me tell you something. I got a quick surprise for you. You can earn $10,000 a month if you truly believe you can earn $10 with no instructions, no, no manual, no nothing. You just go out there and just pull $10. And I'm not giving you any rules how you get that ten dollars maybe you ask a friend maybe you ask a family member maybe you ask a stranger maybe you trade some value like hey i'll give you this ebook for 10 bucks whatever the case may be and here's the deal i watched a video one time and it was it was made by steve harvey you know but like the 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 principles that he was sharing i totally agree with basically if you can make ten dollars today and you repeat that same step tomorrow but you double down and then you can make 20. And then you do it again and you double down what you did the day before, then it's 40 and then it's 80, then 160 and then so on and so forth. So you keep doubling down and it's going to snowball. You just keep doubling down on your efforts on what you're doing. It's not like you're reinventing a wheel every single day. You don't got to keep coming up with new ideas every day. You know, all you got to do is come up with a process that can pull in the first 10. And after that, you know, you, it's going to be a hundred next time, then a thousand, then 10,000, you know, like that's just how the process works. And that's what I want to break down for you guys right here in this presentation. All right. And I don't care what industry you're in. You can earn 10 K a month. And let me explain to you guys. I run a business. It's called tax overages. I help people with unclaimed funds. I help people get money that they were unaware that is owed to them. And I get paid for doing it. One deal. If I close one deal, that could potentially earn me $10,000 off one deal. I wouldn't have to work for the rest of the month. You know, obviously I keep going, I keep grinding. You know, the, the name of the game is to earn an income and live a life so that you want, you know, but I, there's no stress. I'm off work when my kids are off of school. You know, I can do this when we're traveling. I can do this whenever, you know, I can take a day off middle of the week, you know, and schedule myself just to work on Mondays and Fridays, like real hardcore. I'm in control of my own schedule. As long as I close a deal, I'm pretty much good if $10,000 a month is my goal. But let me explain to you, this can work in any industry and I wanna share how and why. So here we go. This is where I show you how. 
I call it my learn, do, coach method. You learn how to do a skill. So let's say, for example, you join my course, right? And you learn how to do tax surplus. I coach you up. You do it. You earn some money. You know, I get paychecks coming into me all the time doing it. And then I teach you exactly what I do. You earn paychecks and then you coach someone on how to do it. But here's the kicker. You charge people to learn from you. They learning something of value from you that's going to benefit their life. And now you're getting paid to do it. So not only are you getting paid by doing the skill that you learned, but you're also getting paid teaching someone else. You learn it. You do it to get paid and then you coach someone else to get paid again. You double down on the income. Now you got two streams of income coming in just from you doing one career, one business. If, if I'm not blowing your mind yet, oh, I got, I got more. Don't worry. I got more for you. But this is a couple things that you need to know. I broke this down in 10 simple rules for you. Okay. Rule number one, you need an idea. You need to know what is it that you want to do in life to earn an income. Okay. So that's the first rule right there. Rule number two, you need a funnel. If you don't understand what a sales funnel is, well, step one in a sales funnel, like if you think of a funnel, it's coming here and it goes down like it's like a cylinder almost, right? And at the top, it's the awareness. It's the omnipresence. People found you either on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. They found you somewhere. So they found you there and then they, they start to follow you. That's like this next stage. And then from the time that they follow you, then they join your community. Maybe it's a Facebook group, maybe a LinkedIn group, maybe it's somewhere to where you get more of their attention. Because if someone's just following you aimlessly and they haven't subscribed to your YouTube channel or they haven't joined your community, then the chances are them seeing you again is going to be slim to none. So you want to give them all the links and all the call to actions possible for them to actually get into your ecosystem. And then from there, you provide as much value as possible in your community. You want to over deliver in a community so people can actually want more information because I, I'm telling you human nature, you can give them all the information, give them all the secrets that you have in your toolbox. Most people are not going to take action. It's not until they put some skin in the game and they're somewhat invested in the process. That's when they actually start to take action. I see this all the time, guys. Do not be afraid to give value. This presentation doesn't scare me. I'm giving all the secrets. It doesn't scare me because I know most people who are watching this are not going to take action. I'm the same way. I consume so much information, but it's usually when I hire a coach or I, or I invest, I buy a program, I do something, that's when I know, okay, I got something on the line. I need to make something out of this because I can't just go throwing money out the window and not getting anything in return. Rule number three, you need social media platforms. You might hate it. You may not like it, but you have to stop becoming a consumer and you need to start growing into becoming a producer. You need to produce value on your platforms. And it doesn't matter if you're not good at them. Just post. You're going to suck in the beginning. Who cares? Just post value. Your audience will tell you and engage on what they want to see. And they're not going to interact with things that they don't like. That's just the nature of the business. But that you're learning. You're doing your market research. Just start throwing things out there and then watch other people who are doing it really well and mimic them. Do what they're doing and I promise you, you're going to end up making some pretty good money. All right. So from there, you need to develop a community or a group. And see, this is where I filter out people who are what we call as tire kickers, right? You know, this is where, you know, I really start overloading people with value, giving them information. Like they literally can start a business just by being in my community and being my group. Because I'm constantly just giving as much free as I can. So they come into your ecosystem, they're in your community, and then you're loving on them. You, you, you've made connections with these people and you're starting to develop a relationship with the people in your group. OK, you need to establish what's called the know, like and trust factor. They need to know who you are and they need to know that you're the authority. They need to like you because you're giving them so much and you're not asking, you're not spamming, you're not in their inbox bothering people. You're literally just giving them stuff for free. And I know it's a scary word, but trust me, when I say this, this is going to pay off a thousand fold. You just have to be a giving person and things will come back like a boomerang. OK, and then you got to build trust. People got to trust that you got their best interest in mind. They got to trust that you're not deceiving them. You're not just telling them some false things or giving some false hope. And the reason why I didn't say make 100K a month or 50K a month, you know, if I told you that you're going to make what I make, you know, monthly, you're going to be like, whatever. You're not going to trust it. But if I scale it down a little bit to something that seems more realistic and something that's very basic to do, it's like the basic ABCs, like 
really, it doesn't seem like that with $10,000, but literally when you do it, you're gonna find, okay, Joe was right. 10K was really not that hard to establish. And once you earn 10K, you're gonna keep repeating it and you're gonna keep making 10K a month online. It doesn't even matter if you have a full-time job. You can do this with a full-time job, okay? But with the people who are in your community, you wanna establish a no like, and trust factor. And then it all starts with a conversation. Because as you're building a like and trust factor, you are going in there, providing value and allowing people to be invited to a call with you. But if it's a phone call, a Zoom call, it doesn't matter. This is you breaking that wall between you and the potential leads or clients that you have to create a conversation. Now, when a conversation starts and someone raises their hand and they say, yes, I want to talk to you, the first conversation you have with them should be you asking them questions, not you fielding all these questions, okay? Because that puts them in the position of authority and power, and now you're the one being interrogated. And usually when someone's interrogating you, that means that they're not going to go with whatever you want them to have. They're going to give you that famous line, oh, think about it. You don't want to go through that. You want to work with people that you understand. You want to know what their pain points are. You want to ask them questions. Why do you want to start a business? What brings you to me? You know, what would that do for your life if you started and you made 10K a month? What are the things that inspire you to keep going if, it, if it's challenging, if it sucks and you make no money? Tell me more about you. And I especially want to know what drove you to the edge to say, I need something different in my life. When you understand the person, you understand their pain points, your business will grow and flourish in abundance. But see, if you don't take the time to do these steps and if you're in rush just to make a sale, trust me and believe me, your sales are going to be few and far between. You do not want to rush the process, especially when you're doing coaching or selling a high ticket program that's going to cost people some money. It's going to be a small investment. A small investment is anything under $20,000. That's small. A large investment, we're talking like 100K, 200K, those are larger investments right there. And usually we're thinking like homes, vehicles. But when we're talking about coaching, you know, that's a small investment where we're going 20K, 10K, 5K, 2K, whatever. Whatever you decide your prices are going to be, you know, you got to understand the person before you just ask them to break open their wallet. All right. And then moving right along, um, do not get in this business to make money. And here's why you're going to be stressed. Because you're going to work 30 full days and if no one wants to do business with you because you really don't really know what you're doing, you're a little lost, you know, you're just kind of trying to figure yourself out and you're trying to figure out what your voice is, you know, but you're like, oh my God, I have to make money or else I'm going to like not be able to pay my bills. This is not the right time to start a business. You want to make sure that you have security you have something to fall back on in case you're just not good. I would love to sit here and make a video and tell you that you're amazing, you're awesome and everyone's going to love you. That would be a lie. I don't know you. I don't know your personality. I don't know your work ethic. I don't know if you're going to work 30 minutes a day, eight hours a day, 12, 16 hours a day. I don't know how much time you're going to put into your business or what your challenges are. Like if you're scared to be in front of camera or you just don't know how to put a value, you know, there's a learning curve. So what I'm saying is you want to get into an industry where you know you can provide value and change someone's life. That's why you want to get into this business right here. And that's the most important factor. And you'll be less stressed and you'll feel more purpose filled. You'll be driven because, you know, the feedback you're going to get from people is going to be nothing but positive stuff. All right. So just keep in mind, you know, like you want to get in business for the right reason. Don't be afraid to sell. At the end of the day, don't be afraid to, to put a price tag on your time because time is value and money is value. It's just a value exchange. People can't ask you for value without exchanging for value. That's not how a, a, an agreement works. There has to be give and take because my time is not free because instead of me giving you my time and, and undivided attention, I can be giving that to something else to grow my business, to, to help someone else. So you gotta understand there's gotta be exchange for time. Information can be free. I can send you an ebook. I can send you an email. I can send you a ton of videos. I'll make YouTube videos all day long. That's no sweat off my back. But if you're going to take my time from me, you're going to ask me to just stop everything I'm doing in my life to talk to you and to fix your life and to strategize with you and, and take on this pain with you. That's valuable. That is more valuable than any course you can buy online. I promise you that. So you got to understand, don't be afraid to tell people, look, there's a monetary value that comes with this because that money is going to help me do other things in life. But if you're not willing to put the money, then I'm sorry. You don't value my time. And then I don't value free. You know, the only time I'm going to give you something free is when I know that it is going to 
help my platform. You know, I understand that like, this is gonna help someone who's gonna listen, but I'm building on my platform. You know, I don't need anything immediate return. The ROI might take a long time, I don't care. You know, that's fine. There'll be an ROI one day, someday someone's gonna see all this content, all this that I'm putting out there. You know, I'm investing in my future. It's just like if you invest in a home, right? Maybe it might not be much or nothing now, but as you start to build on it and remodel it and make it nicer and better, eventually you're gonna get a buyer. But you invested that time. You didn't expect something the same day you put something out. You're expecting a buyer? No, get out of here with that. You need to do the work now and it will come. But by someone coming to here and saying, hey, I understand you're building your business, but I want your time for free. Cut that out. Don't do it. Ask for the sale. All right. And then lastly, you need to be able to rinse, wash and repeat your systems. Think about McDonald's. Think about how they do it. The, the person who started McDonald's, he got in there, he got his hands dirty, and he realized where the glitches were at. He realized what worked, what didn't work. And then he's like, okay, this needs a system. And when he created a system that was able to be repeated, he was able to make a franchise. He's like, what they're doing in California, they should be doing in New York and in Atlanta and Florida and Georgia. Like, like he just said, everywhere there's a place, I should be able to repeat the cycle and make money off of this repeated cycle. That's it. Rinse, wash, repeat. And then you can hire people to get in there and to run your systems for you so you can scale your business. And when you start to scale, that's when you start to make more than 10K a month. That's because you're able to grow your business, do more, and create more content and create more value, should I say. You can create more value to bring you more income online. And I keep using the word income because this is what this presentation is all about. It's about creating income. It's not about all these other fluffy stuff that's going to make you feel nice. This is about real talk. This is about like really helping you generate the income that you want to live the dreams that you have for yourself. Lastly, this is a bonus for you guys. This is the multiple stream generator. Let me just get, break this down for you to make it super simple. And we're going to go back to the learn, do, coach philosophy. Okay. When you have a business, like I had a gym at one point and the, the seasons were slow. People weren't signing up during the holiday time or they weren't signing up during summer because they're on vacations. Well, that's the time that our income took a dip. So we'd have months where we're making 20,000, 30,000, $50,000 sometimes a month. But then like, let's say November came around, October, November, December. And that's when people start to fall off, cancel memberships, they're leaving, there's holidays, they, they're, they need to stay for Christmas shopping. People weren't really signing up. Next thing you know, we were pulling in like 15K and the bills didn't get lower. The income was getting lower, but the bills didn't get lower. You know, and, and again, that's 15K before expenses, before gym rent, before payroll, before bills. Like times was getting really tough, really fast. And then I got the bright idea. I got a gym and gym people know food. I'll start a meal prep business. I did that. That started pulling an extra five to 8,000 a month. That was great. And I was like, you know what? Supplements. Because fitness, exercise, and supplements, they all go hand in hand. So then we started selling supplements. And then we just started doing more and more things that create an income from multiple streams. And then, again, like I said, online coaching, right? Like COVID hit. And so, like, you know, when memberships were going down because of COVID, you know, people were still buying supplements. So I was still mailing out supplements. I was still mailing out, you know, meal plans and, and meals and stuff like that. But then you know what else? I was coaching people online. So it was still the same fitness business was the overall umbrella, but I had all these streams of income coming under, under one umbrella. My, my new business, the tax surplus and overages business. You know, I'm, I'm making an income by working these deals online, working these unclaimed funds, but I'm also coaching people and I'm teaching them how to pull in 10, 15, $20,000 a month working the tax surplus business. Oh, and by the way, I created a digital course that's bringing in a couple thousand dollars extra a month. So now it took me from making just $10,000 to we're making like 20, 30 and $40,000 a month. My goal is to hit 100K a month and we're on pace to make that this year. It's just because I've created systems, we we're able to duplicate it. I was able to hire virtual assistants and, and, and professionals that are vetted and capable of running these systems for me so I can continue to scale my business. You guys, earning 10K a month online will be one of the easiest things you do and it's also gonna be one of the hardest things. The hard part is making a decision to do it. 
The hard part is you investing the time and whatever finances that comes along with whatever industry you're trying to do. That's, that's what's going to take some sacrifice and using the excuse, well, I don't have any money. I'm paycheck to paycheck. Do y'all understand? My account was almost negative. I went out there. I got me a line of credit from a bank. I paid my first coach. I could have spent that money on equipment. I spent $20,000 for a year of coaching. And that's what I did when I, when I actually... That's what I did to actually, you know, create the business that I have today. So you guys right there, I'm going to end it with this on a high note. What I want you guys to do in the comments below, let me know what business that you're looking to launch. And even if you don't have an idea, you're not sure, but you know that you're ready and online is where you want to go because you understand the benefits that's going to bring to your life. Then I want you in the comments below. Let me know that you're ready. Let me know that you're all in, you know, and of course, you know, me being your coach, I'm always here to answer questions. If you guys have questions, comments, you know, like you just don't understand something about the, how the online industry works and everything. This is what I'm here for. You drop a comment right there. You contact me. And also as an extra bonus on top of this video right here, I'll even hop on a strategy call to get to know you, to get to understand your pain points and see where you're trying to go with your online business. And I'll see if I can help you out. All right, you guys. So that concludes this video right here. I hope this helped you out. I hope that you take immediate action because again, just sitting there and consuming information and thinking about it, it never gets the job done. You actually got to do something and actually make it happen. All right. Ah, all right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. I really, truly do. I try to provide as much value as possible in this video. So I want to thank you guys, that the ones who have subscribed, liked, shared, dropped comments in my videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that. Again, you guys, if you got any suggestions or things that you would like to learn on my channel, please drop it in the comments below. I will be sure to answer everybody who leaves a comment, and I want to keep bringing you guys a ton of value on this channel. All right, you guys. Good luck. I'll see you later, and start that business now.